Last year, Arizona State finished their season on a six-game losing streak, bringing their overall record to 4-8. and eight. After the Sun Devils' last second loss to the University of Arizona, Coach Dennis Erickson vowed to recruit more junior college players this year. They're going to make a huge difference to our offensive football team. And watching the junior college players that have been here for about 10 days now, and when I say watching them in the strength room, talking to our strength coaches, um, you know, our strength coaches are very excited about them. Overall, Erickson recruited six JUCO players. The standouts of this year's class are offensive lineman Bryce Schwab and wide receiver George Bell. An offensive tackle, probably the best junior college offensive lineman that I saw when we were looking at him. Um, when they made the change at USC, obviously, uh, uh, we did a good job of getting on top of him, uh, assistant coaches, and uh, he visited us, committed to us, and, and uh, I mean, he's 6'8", 320 pounds, and uh, we expect him to come in and have an impact right away. George Bell, like I said, uh, I really believe he has a chance to be special. Uh, he's got great speed, he's got great feet. Uh, uh, very fortunate to get him, uh, got good height, uh, now we'll wait and see, but he's a guy that can really help us as far as getting the ball deep. Offense was clearly the focus of this year's recruiting class. Out of the 26 players signed on Wednesday, 15 were offensive. Out of those 15, six were offensive linemen. We're probably more offensive guys than we've recruited in a while, and that was our plan coming in to, you know, to build a solid defense and then go from there, which, which we have. You know, as I sat back and looked at our team, you know, where do we got to get better to compete for the Pac-10 championship next year? You know, we felt that we needed to, to try to get a couple junior college offensive linemen, which, which we did in this class, to try to uh, continue to improve our speed and skill at the wide receiver spot and at running back. Only time will tell if this year's recruiting class will help the Sun Devils in their two-year bowl drought. But at least for now, it looks like the team is moving in the right direction. For State Press Television Sports, I'm Isaac Easley.